Good evening, everyone. My name is Arya Sudha, and my name is Shreya Grewal. And among us is a great entrepreneur, Palash Maheshwari. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, I am Palash Maheshwari. I am born and brought up in Nagpur. I have done my MBA from Pune University, and right now I am into trading of cotton, trading and export of cotton. So, sir, uh, I would like to ask, why did you specifically choose cotton? Actually, my father, uh, my father started business of cotton twenty five years ago, and I want to, and from my, and I want to do cotton only because I know cotton from uh, my childhood, and so I want to do something in cotton only. So that's why I chose cotton. So, so why? How did you get an idea of exporting? <laughs> nice question. Actually, I want to expand my business, and when I was doing MBA at that time only, I uh, and and at that time only I have chosen that I want to do the export and do and for export I have. My father is cotton ginner, and in our current area right now, there is no one in ginning side who is doing export. And it, uh, and I want to do export because I want to expand my business to next level. And export is the better option, which I can choose to expand. So that's why I choose an export. Okay, so so, uh, since your childhood, uh, did you had an idea like uh, I wanted to export and uh, something, or did you came out right now? Some years ago, uh, actually, I've heard and I was I've heard that there were so many MNC who is doing export, and in local level there is no exporter. So at that time only, I I think that export is much more better option. And for in MBA, I've also heard about lot of uh, exporters. So at that time only, I've chosen that export I can do, and I can learn something in export, and I can do export in better manner. And in cotton, cotton is best field, so I have chosen cotton only. That's so nice to hear that you took uh, to take your father's business forward. So, sir, did you face any difficulties for starting exporting or uh, any problems uh, in fulfilling export requirements? I have done two years job in export company to learn export. And after that, I come into cotton. After that, I came into cotton, and then I export and I start the export. So, <clears throat> documentation and all is very new for me in cotton field because I have done job in not the commodities field. I have done the job in sand and all that stone part. Which uh, so as if we compare that uh, stone part and all that business to cotton, so documentation is something different. So that all things I have to learn and then I have to imply in our business. So all that things are at in start in starting that all things were very new to me. So these were the difficulties which I faced. That then sooner when I again and again then again and again when I start. Uh, Export so then that things become familiar to me and then it's okay for me to do. Uh, it was so nice to hear. So so there were some. So would you like to tell any success stories and some good memories of your with uh, starting your business? Yes. So actually, export is not that much hard, but. to get new parties to whom you are going to export or to uh, to whom you are going to supply whether your payment is uh, that all the payment part is very difficult whether the payment is safe or not in exports so this these are the challenges uh, which i have to face that time because uh, if if we supply in domestic market so we can go anywhere and we can go to mill we can talk to them personally but if, but if we export something to another country so it's not that much easy for us also to go there and take payment from them because if uh, suppose if there any dispute come in quality and if, uh, if is there any dispute and if you have to uh, negotiate that dispute and you have to uh, again you have to 
you want your payment also back so this this is so taking payment from party uh, is very tough so 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 what were the strategies you adopted uh, to resolve this problem of uh, not receiving the repayments and other issues payment is one part and apart from payment there are so many other things also like quality and all so usually there are so many labs in india and there are so many authenticated labs so we are using authenticated uh, authenticated labs which uh, globally all the cotton countries are trusting and cotton countries are using that lab we are using that lab that lab is costly uh, using that lab is costly as compared to other labs but we are using that labs because so that uh, to maintaining our brand if suppose we are exporting to bangladesh so in the name of tulsi exports so bangladesh when our goods reach to bangladesh so you are so they they want that from other time also we need to take cotton from tulsi exports only because tulsi exports is the uh, tulsi exports is committing they are they are sending that material only so that's why we are using the authenticated labs and uh, we are having six staff which they are doing uh, and they are also know the physical cotton also so so apart from quality uh, in cotton also i think you don't know but i want to explain you something in cotton also there are so many types of parameter means 28 mm 29 mm 30 mm so uh, suppose uh, if i talking about this shirt so this shirt is uh, this shirt is fine this shirt is made up of fine cotton so in fine cotton we need 29 mm cotton and if you talking about jeans jeans need 28 mm cotton and uh, jeans uh, yarn is made up of cotton okay and there are so many counts in yarn like 10 count 20 count 30 count 40 count and finer the count finer the things means if uh, if this is shirt this shirt is fine so this shirt is make, uh, made up of 40 count yarn and if we are talking about jeans jeans is made up of 10 count yarn only so for uh, for jeans we need less lesser type of quality cotton which is not that much costly as compared to fine count of cotton so my usp is lesser the count less type of cotton it means that cotton is cheaper as compared to good cotton and this type of cotton generally found in andhra pradesh and uh, karnataka part of uh, our country so i am uh, i am having my team which uh, which is working for me in karnataka region so they are procuring cotton from uh, they are procuring cotton from there and then we are supplying that cotton to bangladesh so uh, this is my usp so if we compare if i compare my business with mnc which are very higher in funds and all things but they are not working in uh, this type of count of cotton this type of cotton so that's why i have chosen that low count uh, low type of cotton which is usp because there are no such buyers in our country so that's why i have chosen low quality so this is my usp this is my strength this was so nice to hear sir that uh, that you are going so deep like uh, you are going to karnataka and uh, other states of india which are growing the best cotton and uh, you are building your brand value and uh, just promoting the tulsi exports so it was so nice like uh, uh, i totally understand that mncs don't look into it so briefly and uh, you personally are going and uh, looking into it very briefly so arya would you like to ask sir something so i'd like to know your vision and mission towards your export business so i have previously uh, told you regarding mnc that's uh, that mnc is there and mnc is also doing lots of export and so i also want to develop myself our company as mnc so that if if right now there are four mnc and uh, if we are talking good company in uh, cotton so everybody is talking about that for mnc also so i want to say exports to become mnc so that if people are talking about cotton so tulsi exports should be the name which uh, come in the uh, 
come in the name of come in the name of public okay so so it was nice hearing your vision and mission so i'd like to know how you and your export business contribute towards the society and the uh, business staff yeah cotton is a business which is directly related to farmer farmers are there so apart from uh, my, as i already told you that my father is uh, running a engineering factory and engineering farmers are directly Came to our factory and they are uh, they are supplying cotton to us. Then we are doing ginning of that. So as compared to other ginners, we are giving much more rate to farmers and farmers are uh, backbone of our country. So that it's better to give more and more to farmers so that our country will also grow more. So our primary focus is to. give much more benefit to farmer so that it will be benefit for them also and our country also so this and apart from that we are doing donation to some trust also so that they so, so that our society will grow more and it will be grateful to our society yeah. so i'd also like to know about uh, the, about your and your business contribution towards the office staff yeah so we are not partial to our staff we are treating our all our staff uh, in one direction only so so that the the coordination should be better in all our staff and uh, there should not be any gossip in between staff only so they should treat our company as family and they all they should all do business in one uh, business like one family okay. so that's yes sir so it's really nice to hear that there's so much respect and coordination among the office staff and everyone is uh, everyone is treated like family and the main goal of office staff is to uh, expand your company yeah and uh, apart from that if we compare uh, our our ginning from other ginning so in other ginning staff if staff is doing overtiming or staff is doing main uh, more working so nobody is uh, taking care of their food and nobody is taking care of their accommodation but if they are doing overtiming and all so we are providing food facility also and accommodation also to our staff so that it will be convenient for them to work so it's really nice initiative and and and, and working in Healthy atmosphere is always benefit for company. Yes, sir. Okay, this yeah. idea is really nice. Uh, sir, we all know that due to COVID, many things disrupted and destroyed, and the uh, companies and the businesses went down. So, sir, how did you manage your export business in this COVID situation? Yeah. So, if we talking about the lockdown of 21 days the first lockdown which pradhan pra, that prime minister modi has announced so everybody is thinking now how will we work how can we work and now what will be the future of company but uh, you ca means we can say this two years after the lockdown and after the covid these are the golden period of textile and this period will never come in textile if you apart from mnc if you compare the company like vodman like trident these are the uh, indian textile backbone and these are the well spun these are the uh, indian these are the highest company and highest textile company in the form of network and all in net worth and all uh, in textile so if you compare to vodman textile the share price of vodman textile was 400 rupees in 2021 Oh, two thousand twenty, and right now the Vardhan textile price is sixteen hundred. If you compare to Trident, the price of Trident was four rupees, and right now that share price of Trident is sixty five rupees. So textile, actually, if we compare the, if you uh, if you uh, if you're talking about the hosiery material like uh, T-shirt and all. in lockdown everybody if you let me explain you if we talking about bed sheet everybody is talking uh, uh, that doctor is uh, 
telling us that change your bed sheet, no, no, change your towel. You have to use a new towel. And in hotel also, everybody is changing the towel again and again, bed sheet again and again, so that uh, for the precaution of COVID. So these all uh, these all things uh, like uh, textile, that material like uh, shirt, towel is using again and again. So production of the so consumption of this thing has been higher. So that's why the uh, so these all things for textile is very easy. Uh, means for growing the textile company is very easy and using these things again and again and all. So it will be this for this. Miracle say it will pause. Can I? Yeah, miracle say zada. Three, two, one, start. So this was the means very good thing for textile. And everybody has grabbed that opportunity and work for that. So overall, uh, the textile sector, the future of uh, future of textile sector is right now very good. And due to COVID, it will be the due to COVID. Everybody is uh, having pros and cons of COVID every sector, but our sector is in good area. So our sector is good right now. So yes. Thank you, sir. It was really nice to hear all the opportunities and struggles you've been through in your export business. Sir, is there anything you'd like to advise to us, the younger generation, that inspires you and for our future? Any success story or something, please. I think focus. focus uh, yeah, I think focus and target should be determined. Uh, at the time uh, of education, only... I know that I have to choose cotton field only and I have to be in the cotton field only. So this is the main thing. And right now also I have compared uh, to my other colleague and all. They are right now also thinking that I want to change my job. I want to change. Uh, right now I am not happy, but I am right now very happy. Uh, at the time of uh, start, at the time of starting, I also think... Uh, I was also thinking that time that uh, whether uh, uh, I have chosen the right thing or not, everybody is getting job and I have, to, I have chosen to do business and I want to join my business. But right now I am thinking that, yeah, my focus was good. My, my determination was good. And all, after choosing the field of cotton, uh, right, uh, I, hard work is also necessary. And I have done lots of hard work due to, uh, I was doing lots of hard work for that cotton field and all. So I also want to say one thing only that focus should be very necessary and do hard work for that. And you can achieve whatever you your dream is. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable input. Uh, we wish you all the best. And sir, it was really nice to hear about Fulci Exports and I really wish you the very best for your company and uh, totally seeing that you go into my depths and uh, do so good at your company. So I wish you the very best and very thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, all the best to you too also. Thank you, sir. Thank you.